A Kansas mom is traveling the state to educate people of all ages about something that often goes untalked about. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi tells us how the mom is using her family's story of suicide to help others going through similar experiences. Hundreds of people gathered at Garfield Park in Topeka to walk for a cause that isn't obvious to the eye. Finding research, uh, having help, um, having people there to be on the other side of the phone call. People wore shirts to represent their loved ones they lost to suicide. And these colorful beads were more than just an uplifting accessory. The people participating in the walk today will be wearing these beads to represent why they came out. Red represents the loss of a spouse or partner, white represents the loss of a child, and green represents a personal struggle or attempt at suicide. People like Barbara Merez are taking their stories that brought nothing but heartbreak and using them to make a difference. She's now the founder of the Greater Kansas America Foundation for Suicide Prevention Chapter. I never dreamed that I'd be doing what I'm doing today. I lost my son Jason in 2003 at the age of 16. But that wasn't the end of her grief. My son Justin, who was 18, came home from school and um, six weeks and three weeks later he took his life to be with his brother. So not once but twice within the seven months did my family have to endure losing another loved one to suicide. So I, I knew then um, something had to change. But Merez is using her worst nightmare to open the door for a conversation about depression and suicide for people who need it most. The biggest thing that surprises me is that they feel that them being high schoolers, that these are the type of feelings that they should be experiencing. And through her work, her goal is for people to know they deserve to be happy. In Topeka, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. Such a hard conversation, but such an important conversation to have there. Now, if you or a loved one is in need of help, we've posted the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number on our website, along with other resources and risk factors. You can find that at KSNT.com when you click on this story.